Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. It's a kit in 135 scale and it copies model T fire truck from 1914, it's American car obviously. And we have a commercial sample of this, I would say rather unusual vehicle in this scale. And we are going to open it in this video review, check what is included in this nice box and of course decide whether it's uh, suitable kit for beginners or maybe it's a more of a project for professional modelers. So first of all box art is really beautiful, it shows the vehicle so what else you need and of course box size is standard for this manufacturer, here you can see comparison with my hand. Next on the side we have some information about this kit so just give me a second I will check it because again it's a bit hard to read what is printed here but it's 110 parts and length of the finished vehicle will be 113 millimeters so it's not that huge but it's not surprising for a car in 135 scale and on the opposite side you can see uh, let's say profile for this uh, fire vehicle or fire truck and I can bet that there is only one version but we will see in the assembly manual box is sealed with a tape so I'm going to cut through it and we will check everything together so as I said in the previous video reviews I see I'm started doing this thing recently and it means that nobody will open your kit I mean if this seal is broken obviously somebody tried to check what is inside but from the other side you can't check by yourself what is uh, in the box so you should keep it in mind and box structure here is standard for this brand so if I lift this thin lid as you can see it's quite flexible and then we have sturdy white cardboard box which should protect all the parts inside but I can guess that parts count is not that huge here you can see all the frames they are packed into the same plastic bag so let's move the box aside and open this plastic bag it's a resealable plastic bag so it's quite easy to open and now okay so what do we have here first of all I would like to start with this plastic bag for the clear spruce so I'm going to open it right now and here it is molding quality is really good so I don't see any creases or any other possible molding damage but you need masks for this so be ready and there are no templates included into this kit so you have to do everything with your own hands next we continue with a gray plastic sprue this one is let's say the smallest one out of two but here we have mix of various parts so you can see wheels in the center we also have bonnet and radiator grill and what is next so here we have wheel axles we have fuel tank uh, some parts for the gearbox and engine but i suggest we zoom in as much as we can so that we can check all these parts closer just give me a second to wipe off the dust i'm not sure where it comes from so here it is so first of all it is good to see plastic wheels even though they're molded as a single piece parts together with the wheel rims still it's better than vinyl tires and i think it will be um let's say warranty of a good look of the, your vehicle in the finished state here we continue with exhaust and again molding quality is really fine attachment points are thin enough in order to be um let's say easily separated of the sprue of course you have to be careful with thin parts but it's not such a huge issue and here you can see some of the tools and gearbox part by the way if i flip it over here you can check them from the opposite side so as i said oh no flash or other damage whatsoever okay so next we continue with uh, bigger plastic sprue so this one is dedicated to mix of various parts here we have vehicle floor panel we also have some parts for external let's say uh, details we even have as you can see various uh, external elements for the seats and it is quite interesting that the seat is separated into this section so again we can zoom in and now you can see them closer of course, I would rather recommend to spend some time painting and weathering all this stuff, especially, for example, this water tank, steering wheel, uh, this, uh, let's say, 
side fenders here and there. As you can see, we even have pre-molded Ford logo here, so it's also quite cool thing. Next, we continue with more parts for the water tank. Here we have radiator grill again. Ford logo is pre-molded, so it would be a, a good thing to use a dry brush method in order to bring out these small details. And definitely, it would look even better. But again, you should consult with some reference photos because it will give you a better idea of what you can do with this vehicle and what you cannot because it's not realistic appearance. Next we continue with assembly manual. So this one is printed in form of a cover printed brochure. So I'm going to close the camera so that you won't be blinded. And you can notice that on the first page we have short history note, technical specifications and covers chart and also science legend and address of the manufacturer. And on the next page, we continue with the parts map. Red shows that these parts will not be used, obviously. So as you can see, there are plenty of unused parts, which is, I would say, rather surprising for ICM. And next, we start assembly with the main, let's say, floor panel for this vehicle. And here, I would like to remind you that you can support us with a small donation. So if you would like to, now, let's say, see some new kits or from different brands in the video review you can do a small donation with help of support dsv button on our website and it's done via paypal so it should be safe and quick next here we continue by installing this front grill uh, we assemble the engine and this is really surprising that they decided to include the engine so it might be a worth opening one of the bonnet panels in order to expose it on the finished model. Next we continue with the exhaust pipe and we also assemble the drivetrain which will be connected with one of the axles. Obviously this is a rear wheel drive as far as I remember so that's why we continue by installing more bars on the lower section. We install wheels but I guess some others will leave them aside and install them on the last steps of the assembly process. Next you continue with this front wall for the cabin and here we work on the floor panel for the interior. We also have separate bonnet panels but as you can see they're molded in a shut position and manufacturer does not show an option to open the bonnet so if you would like to expose the engine and it would be a shame to hide it inside so definitely think through how to open this part. Next we continue by installing the interior floor and various um, control elements such as pedals and brake lever. Next we have the main seat. As you can see, it's quite a complex assembly out of several parts. It gets installed on the cockpit floor. Next, we continue with water tanks. They will be placed in the rear side of the vehicle. And here we have a special basket which will be installed on the top. Obviously, there we will have the water hose. And also, we assemble the steering wheel. We install together all these leathers. Uh, install headlamps in place or search lights if I'm not wrong. Here we also have bell, <laughs> quite an interesting addition. Starter handle, also fire extinguishers and that's pretty much all. So 57 steps to perform and on the last page you can see a marking guide for the same marking option obviously that's a red fire truck which you will be able to assemble in 135 scale. So all in all we get a quite interesting release from ICM. It should be already available and you can get it on official Modelimex web shop. Of course I'll be happy to hear your opinion about such release. Write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.